What's up everybody, it's TR from Earth Angel Mushrooms. Just made a little bit of a change from my grow room and I thought this would be great for a video to help some folks out. So it has to do with the uh, humidification and preconditioning rooms. So here we're in the grow room with my Mayatakis. These will be harvested next Monday and Tuesday. So we're getting into winter time, what's well, actually fall. So it's starting to get cold outside. Um, one thing, if you're using a pre-conditioning room, which I do, and we'll get ready to go over there. Um, so in the winter time, we're taking in air from outside, which is cold, doesn't hold as much water, and we're heating it up. So the relative humidity goes down, goes down, right? So we're controlling our temp via a temperature in there. We're drying the air out because we're bringing in that cold air and then we're heating it up, right? So the relative humidity goes down. Um, and then we're putting it into this grow room for the Mayataki and then we're having to humidify it. So you can do two things. You can, uh, humidify all your air in there or you battle the temperature in the grow room by it going down via evaporative cooling um, so a lot of mushrooms um, don't care if it gets colder right but my ataki do my ataki do not like temps outside of what they like so if I'm taking that cold air from outside heating it up bringing it into the grow room unhumidified and then I humidify it in here I get a temperature drop and I can never maintain specific temperatures which Mayataki want they don't want oyster mushroom environment shiitake mushroom environment they don't want black pearl or king environment they want exactly what they want and that's it so you have to have way more control so what I did was I put a pre-condition, so this is my pre-conditioning room. I have a four ton mini split. I need to take those plant lights out of there. I have those left over. So I used them, so I didn't have to buy other ones. Anyway, so the lighting is not great in here, but I have a four ton mini split. My door here, this is old, this doesn't work. But from here, then I have a fan, an eight inch fan. And I just put a, a, that in there. I did have a six inch all summer. I wasn't growing as many blocks. So um, we're doing 700 blocks a week in the grow room now. Next week that goes to 900. And in six weeks, it will be 1,080 blocks per week go in there. So I needed more air and I knew that I would have to get some control of the humidity in here with all of that air uh, fall and winter. So again, we're bringing in cold outside air. It gets heated up, which the relative humidity then goes down. If I blow that air into my grow room and humidify it only in the grow room, I then get a big temperature drop, which my Ataki don't want that they want a specific temperature um, so what I did was I have a high pressure system still left over from when I was doing oysters and stuff like that I didn't want to run all of that I wanted something mainly to wet the floors wet the walls so I used fog it nozzles you can buy them on Amazon and what I did is I set it up on a timer and then if you can see, let's see up there, you can see the, the PVC above me, so it's right there. And then, let's see if I can get a better view of these fog. It, oh, it just kicked on. I don't want to get my phone wet. So anyway, it's on a timer. You can see that it's not super fine. You can use any type of humidification system in here, but mainly, like last winter, I would come in here with the hose and wet the walls and wet the floor, and then the humidity would stay higher in here because we are circulating a lot of air. Um, and then 
in turn, this, where's it at? That fan is then pulling air that's preconditioned to the temperature we want. Um, so with the humidification system in my preconditioning room, now I'm not going to be battling the temp like I was. So rather than battling that temperature fluctuation in your grow room, now I can set a temperature in my preconditioning room. That air, when it comes in here, will be almost fully humidified. And then I'll use my other humidifier to finish it off. So I will get a little bit of temp drop from the evaporation, but nothing like bringing in cold air from outside, heating it up, and then it gets fully humidified in this room that then drops that temp way down. They don't like to be in the 50s. I'll tell you that from experience. They like mid 60s. And if they're not there, <laughs> then it's no bueno. Let me show you some pics, some video. Some Maya Takis. Oh yeah, they look good. So these will be harvested Monday and Tuesday. We have a one week turn time. So we bring new blocks in every Monday and Tuesday, and then they're picked the following Monday and Tuesday. You can only get away with stuff like that when you have precise environmental controls. That means you can hold your temperature, which is why I put that new humidification system in my preconditioning room. I'm trying to think if I covered everything. Everything's going good here at Earth Angel Mushrooms. Um, have no complaints, really. Just banging out these shiitake. Uh, I've been doing it now for like the mayatake for two and a half years, and they're still hard. They still want to do things that I've never seen before. So they're difficult. I feel like I'm getting the hang of them. I can do, do them every week. Um, still trying to get the perfect looking Mayatake. I think mine look pretty good every week, but they're not perfect, so I'm still learning. Um, they are the most difficult mushroom that I've grown, hands down, not even a, there's not even a close second. They do things that I have no idea why they do them. Um, I'm still learning, that's part of mushroom growing and part of why I love this career is the challenge. It's always changing, it's always challenging and I truly love that. Um, hopefully that helps everyone understand why you should humidify or partially humidify your preconditioning room if you're using a preconditioning room um, in the winter time. So I just used fog at nozzles. Let me, let, me, let me show you again. So the fog at nozzles from Amazon, PVC, and then one of these, one of these timers. Easy, easy. I don't know how much it costs. I don't know, a hundred bucks total, which is not much. Then I have my way better humidification system in here with the air atomizing nozzle up there, set to a humidistat. Anyway, hopefully everyone is doing well, growing mushrooms, selling mushrooms, making a living doing it. And we'll talk to you later, guys.